Hola amigos, welcome to Eating with Andy. Today I'm gonna show you how to make a classic ceviche, Peru's flagship dish. It's fish that's been cured in a citrus dressing. So, let's get started. We're gonna start by making a quick fish stock. Use the head, tail, and frame of a white fish. This is gold band snapper. Don't use salmon frames or else it will be too strong of a flavor. This is a mild fish stock. You don't want your ceviche to be overpowered by a strong stock. Place the frames in a pot with half a red onion cut into quarters, two roughly chopped celery sticks, half a bunch of coriander stems, and one and a half liters of cold water. Bring this to a boil, then reduce the heat to low and simmer uncovered for 20 minutes. While our fish stock is cooking, steam one whole medium sweet potato. Boil some water, reduce the heat to medium high, and place the steamer basket on top. Cover and steam for 30 to 35 minutes. Our stock is ready. Strain it and place it in a bowl until it completely cools down. Our sweet potato is done. Let it cool down, then peel it and thickly slice it. Okay, it's time to work on our ceviche. Cut an onion in half, remove the middle and thinly slice it. Then place it in icy cold water to remove the bitterness and to keep it crunchy. A good ceviche starts with fresh fish. Use the freshest fish you can get your hands on. I like to use snapper. This is actually a gold band snapper. You can use any type of firm white fleshed fish like sea bass or flounder. Have a look in my description below for more examples. So I've got one fresh gold band snapper fillet that weighs around 400 grams. It's skin and deboned, but always double check because you don't want to be finding a scale or a bone later. Remove the bloodline, that dark red portion on the fillet. If left on the fish, it will give the finished dish a really fishy flavor. Cut your fish into two centimeter cubes, reserving the trimmings for leche de tigre. Place the fish cubes in a bowl, salt, and toss gently. Place it in the fridge for a couple of minutes. The salt opens up the pores and helps it absorb the citrus marinade. Now for leche de tigre or tiger's milk. We're gonna place in a blender the leftover fish trimmings from our snapper. one quarter of a red onion, one stick of celery that's been roughly chopped, a small thumb-sized piece of peeled ginger, one garlic clove, two bird's eye chilies, and two coriander stalks without the leaves. You don't want this to turn green, so avoid putting any leaves. Lastly, one cup of our cold fish stock. Slightly blend. We don't want to make a puree. I pulse it five times. Now, strain into a bowl. Now we're gonna juice around eight limes. You want half a cup of lime juice. 
you might need to use less or more lines depending on how big and juicy they are. Remember, with the lines, the key is not to over squeeze. You don't want it to become bitter. Grab the fish from the fridge. Add the lime juice, five tablespoons of our leche de tigre, two finely chopped bird's eye chilies, half a bunch of finely chopped coriander, the red onion, and a very generous amount of salt to balance the acidity. You'll see the fish will start to turn white. That means it's cooking. Let it marinate for eight to 10 minutes. To serve, put the ceviche in the middle and try to create some height. Serve with three slices of sweet potato and some cancha if you can find it. It's a Peruvian toasted corn. That's it, our ceviche is done. This dish is traditionally served with boiled corn as well. Unfortunately, the variety you find in Australia is far too sweet, so I omit the boiled corn completely, but it's still delicious. Okay, this dish has to be eaten immediately. Let's give it a taste now. Now, this is a ceviche. It's zesty, spicy, and so refreshing. The sweetness from the sweet potato helps to balance out the spiciness. And those crunchy, salty pops of toasted corn are a great little surprise. I need to go in for more. Oh, that's got a kick. I need a tissue. That's it, that's my recipe for a classic ceviche. And if you don't like it too hot, remember you can always reduce the amount of chilies. I really hope you enjoy this recipe. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave your comments below, and don't forget to subscribe. Adios amigos.